Hey guys, what's up? It's Butterfang. And today, I thought that I would give you guys a little tour of my Tegalite survival world. So, right now I'm standing on my main base, which is basically the center point for all of my world. I do all my major crafting and everything else in there. So, I'll give you a quick rundown of what all this stuff is. Right here is my crystallizer with a battery box and what I use to charge that is I'll actually fly over to it real quick. It's just sitting right over here because I really don't feel like putting it well, I just don't really want it close to my place. I I just really don't like the look of it. I'll get into what that is in a minute. Then here I have well, I do run a little server. Used to, it used to be Bucket, now it's just Tech of Light, and I play with friends and stuff. But this is connected to one of my friends. Actually, no, it's my brother's base. And I give him energy for stuff. I also trade, use this just to trade stuff with him. So I just take a battery or whatever, and stick it in here, and... Gives him whatever... You, whatever you pay me for, take it back in here and it's automatically charging back up. Over here I have my music discs and just a few diamond chests filled with stuff. A lot of these are not very organized. Actually, none of them are organized. They're just kind of here for extra storage and stuff like that. I don't have my utility unit. Oh, right. Working on something else. But anyways, here is my rubber. No, I'm I'm kidding, guys. I have more rubber than that. I'll show you the rest in a minute. Here's some of my ores. The rest of them are actually back in here, where I have a ton of every single ore. But I'll have it set up like this so I can request them and retrieve them from anywhere in the from anywhere. Right there's the iron I requested, and if I don't need it, I just send it back. And then these are just my craft packing machines. I don't use them much. And here is where all my power and everything else is actually stored at. And then up there are all my solar panels. This system right here, this like a uh, randomly jumbled, this jumbled mess of containers and stuff. Of I mean, no, not containers of diamond pipe is actually my quarry system, where it's just running my macerator, furnace, and it's just all run along throughout here. I have here all my here are all my containers. Then from right here I run all my cobble, obsidian, oak wood, gravel, marble, sand, dirt into here, where it's recycled into scrap for scrap boxes, which I'm running out of because of my mass fabricator. And I have 321 UU matter. It's getting up there. Like I said, I have other people on the server, and so I use. I trade them lava for other materials as well. So right down here is a room filled with tons of lava and stuff. Here is my fuel station. Um, I just built it because I was bored and I had the materials, so I just made it. I really don't use it at all. I don't even know how to use, okay, I know how to use fuel, but I don't really care what it's used for. Then here is my armor. I really need to recharge some of it, but I have everything in my armor that I can have. As you can see, I turned off mob breathing because it's, you know, all kind of creeper just blows up your crap on you, and I just... Happy when I was playing the game, and I was like, no, I'm done. So I just turned it off. And I'm loving that I did. Anyways, guys, right over here is actually where I get my rubber. I built a rubber tree farm. I actually use this kind of later in the game. But I'm going to show you how I use my old farm. So, let me grab two pieces of this more 
thing right here. Come to me. We. Okay, there. So how this one works is it just puts green into this and yellow and the sticky resin in here and it just combines it both and puts rubber in this thing here. And it uses recycler with igneous extruders to create scrap and fertilizer and it just regulates it using this what is it, distri distribution pipe and it just keeps it going back and forth to regulate it and keep it going. And I was gonna show you this. This is how I used to do it. I used to go out into the jungle, I used to collect a ton I used to just cut down a tree and waste a diamond axe. Then I used to just stick it in here. What this is doing is using a sorting machine to pump everything out one by one inside these where it's then put into here for rubber. So yeah, that used to take a long time. Now I have my new rubber machine, which I'm loving. But yeah. So right there's my can machine and other thing. The compressor. Over here is my cact is my cactus farm, which probably soon get overflow. Yeah, I thought so. Anyways. Here's how it works. It takes the cactuses, pulls them down here, and puts them into a obsidian transport pipe which picks them up, takes them into the chest. Then my sugarcane farm is manual for now. Where I just gotta like run up and down the field a few times a little bit. I'm gonna automate this soon somehow. I'm not sure how yet. Thinking of doing something with pistons and obsidian transport pipes, but might be able to use a harvester instead, which would be a lot simpler. I can just extend the area a little bit and try to do that. But now we get into this what this thing is. Here we have well like that. Here we have this, which is basically just my laser ring. And I just flip the switch and it starts charging all these boxes right here. Which, yeah, this one's cool, so no, actually, it's not. But, anyways, it charges these, which it uses for the energy to power these lasers, which is all run through up here for the Tesseract, which I ha also have placed one down under all this stuff. You can see this stuff fills up fairly quickly, and it uses four different sources of power to power it. First one is the windmill, second one is the wind turbine, third one is solar panels, and fourth one is all oh, what they call. It compares it takes the difference of water and lava heat differences to create energy. Not sure what it's called though, unfortunately, I'm sorry. But anyways, right here we have my greenhouse which is currently Oh, hang on. Let me check something first. Then I'll see if I need to turn on and off my on or off my. Ah, oh, shoot! Did it run out? The breeder. Anyway, guys, this is my slaughter room, where it breeds them. Then use the current type to pull them over into this room here. From there, they are all running around creating food, which is being turned into fertilizer, which probably is just about to overflow over here. Let me make sure it's not overflowing. If it is, that's bad. Oh, it probably is majorly, isn't it? Yep, thought so. I can go down below and grab it. How much is it? Mm, not too much. But I should probably, uh, I should probably start up my farm again. So I just click it. Can't see it working here. Grow, just planting it, growing them, and then shooting, and then growing them fairly fast. And I really pull out all the seeds here, and I 
put them inside the recycler for whatever it needs. And right here is it takes all the sludge that's generating, puts it down there into the sludge boiler, and then up comes random items. And I really don't know how else to say it, it's just random items. The problem with this is I occasionally have to turn this thing off because it just uses so much. Well, it's actually not that much energy, but it's just using a lot of fertilizer. So. And it also overproduces wheat. So actually, it probably overproduced it quite a bit. So let me check on the wheat. Maybe not. Hmm. Huh. I'll be darned. I guess I can just leave that running for now. That's fine. Generating about two wheat per fertilizer. It's not bad. I don't think. Here's my old farm. I'm gonna move all that stuff into there slowly. But anyways, here's what it's going. Oh, come on. I'm actually, just gonna. But yeah, then I can just once again grab a little XP from the breeding. And as you can see, they're still down here making fertilizer. Now, the reason I have three of these set up is because it's really freaking slow at making it. I have enough fertilizer, it just moves really slow. But anyways, let's get into the next part. When the cows die, it puts their items inside this pipe here. It comes over and is placed into these two... Yeah, these two barrels here. So I have that much leather and that much raw beef, which I'll probably cook now. And that many books. And here's all my enchantments, knockbacks, fire, four pole, fire protection, protection, efficiency, looting, power, sharpness, bane, punch, soak touch, smite, disjunction, aqua affinity, feather falling, thorns. And then in order to enchant a book, all I do is simply take one out, stick it in here, and let it do its thing. And then here is my is what I actually use to get to the end, which I will show you my end next. So let me just pull a few things out, so I can pull this out. And let's spawn about three mobs. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, that's enough mobs for now. It pulling a lot of that stuff out. So this is just basically how I got my end to find the end. Just kept spawning them, which I forgot to press spawn that copy. Bummer, oh well, who cares? You guys just hear him spawn? Scared! But anyway, guys, I will show you what I want to next. But first, let me just take my stuff in the recycler and this fertilizer where it needs to go. So, I also use an ender chest here, so my brother can stick stuff, I have another one of these set up in his house, which is labeled trash, and both of them are set to here, so it will pull them out and put them in the recycler. Now then guys, I am going to cook this meat real fast, and I'll actually grab it, I'll actually be able to grab it in the end, which is really, which is really helpful for me. Cause I'm, I've been in the end a lot, just working on some big stuff, which I think you guys are gonna love. When I do show you guys what it is, you guys be like, whoa. But anyways, let me actually turn off the farm here, cause it is probably gonna start to overfill soon. Let me shut that off. There we go. And, oh, that's right. One more thing I gotta show you guys before we head to the end. This is my nuclear reactor, which I never turned on apparently. I am not turning that on. But anyways, guys, this is a breeder reactor. That's the only thing I use it for. And oh, that's why I turned it off because I was going to the end. So, so all this thing does is. Actually, I'm probably going to hook another thing to 
Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was looking this thing up to send it as a place too. Anyways, guys, what this thing does is it just uses depleted isotope cells in conjunction with these four dual uranium cells to create um, reinforced uranium cells to create nukes, which are stored in my weapon shelter, which is right over, which is right there. It's that little thing right there, this little shack. It's my weapon shelter. And there's more push out there. Oh, come on, can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I made it. So, I'm going to set the time to zero just for, video, just for video quality and lack of mobs. I don't want to deal with that lag. Oh, I almost got it. Here's my little fishing hut. This catch is good for me. Oops, that was a light. You are bad. You are bad man. So, guys, let me show you my end. Here is actually going to be my house. The end just happens to be like right next to it, and right over there is where I sent all the cards. So let me just head to the end. Alright, guys, here we are in my end. And what? Okay. So, what you guys are seeing right here is I lit up the whole area. Just so I can get amazing spawn rates, and trust me, they are great. And you can see my diamond. I actually have a diamond factory set up back here, which is using ender pearls to create diamonds. Which needs to slow down a bit, but it's turning that into iron, which is turning into gold, which is turning into diamonds. So I will show you where I'm actually getting these that ender pearls from. Which is over here at my Ender Pearl farm, or Enderman farm. I used to do it the old-fashioned way, where I would hang on, I need to get to safe places. Much easier to do it from here. Now then, I just look around a little bit, and they all come at me. Not bad, bro. Bad, bro. Bad. Guys, you see it. I just think I'm old. Now, I can also use Ender Pearl, or not use my hand to kill them, because they're falling from up there. The reason I have them set up like this is because I used to use all by hand. Before I set this up somewhat automated, I need to build more grinders first to get everything fully functional. You can set up grinders all around this place. Like underneath of these things. And as you can see I already have four stacks of ender pearls. Which turn into a stack of iron each. Which turn into diamonds. Yeah, diamonds. And here is my mob essence. I made a huge tube. Once it fills halfway up, I will connect that to my overworld area. And I will just set that up the way I need to. Oh, if you guys, yeah, some of you probably just noticed that. I almost forgot it. Here's my first mob grinder area. It was a lot smaller. I actually tried using that, but it wasn't very successful. So I set it up over there, and it really helped me generate diamonds. So what I do with these diamonds is I just pick, pick, blah, pick them up. Go to my sender pouch. Just click them in. Oh, my steak's on. Yeah, that's how I get my steak. Or that's how I get stuff. If I'm set on food now, holy crap! But yeah, this I'm gonna set up a library here and get a hook up my books. I can enchant all my books and stuff here as well. Maybe I can probably just build another one where it's using their essence. This is all connected to that and that. Now watch this guys. Come at me. Just 
show you guys. You guys can do it. I made that little square to represent where it is in the camp. In the camp one or in the square. So you see it's coming up one by one. Once there's no people in the area, it comes up in 26 if you're going to start up again. I just kind of screwed you a little bit, so... So guys, let me show you what, what I'm actually doing up here to get them down here and the one health. This is basically it right here. What it's doing is, and let's see if I can get this guy to follow me. Funny you idiots, follow me. Come at me. Oh, you idiot. Anyways, this is 43 blocks up in the air. It needs to be 43 blocks. Because it's 4 blocks for the initial fall. Which is taking down the 39 to start actual damage. Then they have 40 health. So when the final 39, they'll end up at 1 health. And what this does is it uses these. Oh, maybe you can watch them. Watch the torch click right there. Uh, okay, I'll just do this What happens is. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, you can see what it does there. That button turns off a resin torch, which allows a resin torch to turn on, activating a piston. Enderman are three blocks tall, and so when that activates, it pushes them off and down here. Where they land with one health. Now, if I did that, I would die. So I'm not gonna do that. That would be stupid. But yeah, guys, that's actually pretty much all of my world. I used to have a blaze from set up, but I my world corrupted. No, it didn't corrupt, but I had to transfer from multiplayer to single player quite a few times. And whenever you do that, it kind of messes up your nether world. And I lost that, and I can't. Then I can't find another nether fortress. Plus, those things are a pain in the butt to make. You have to cover it up in like a four by five area just to make it work. Made pain. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it, I think. I can't think of anything else I want to add. Um. Oh, I, oh man, I did forget to show you guys something. I'm sorry. Let me head over there real quick. Hopefully, it won't crash on me because it's done that before like three times. So then, as you can see, I did choose to live in a village, which was really helpful starting off. Anyways, right here is what I was about to show you guys. This is my age and enchanting room. I just come in here to enchant stuff and to m make ages. I think that I have all the pages. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, yeah, that I think is just about it. That's just where one of my friends live. That's just where one of my friends live. I'll show you guys this little place. Yeah, this has that. And here's what's in some of my bags. You guys can hit pause or whatever just to look. But yeah, that is just about it for today. If you like this video or want me to put out a download or anything, then you can go right on ahead and put it in the comments. And I'm getting quite a few requests for downloads before I actually put it out. Because I hate trying to learn stuff. Hey, Enderman. I killed your friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That is pretty much it for today. I'm going to need at least 15 comments asking you to put out a map. Before I actually, want, before I actually learn how to do it. Because I am lazy. I'm very, very lazy. And so that is it for today. Thanks for watching.